Oh, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video, I am going to be talking about the seven day challenge that I did and what my thoughts are, how I felt about it, and give you some feedback on said challenge. So if you want to see those results, keep on watching. So <clears throat> this week I decided to do a seven day 5k challenge where I ran a 5k every single day for seven days. Well, I walked some of that, but mostly ran it and it was a challenge in of itself as you'll see in day one. Day one of doing a 5k every day for seven days sucked. I think I managed to do it in about 40 to 41 minutes. Um, I say I think because I didn't look down about 32 minutes in at the distance and I managed to hit the emergency stop which reset everything that was on the treadmill. Okay, so as you could see on day one, I had trouble with the new um, treadmills that my gym has and kept hitting that emergency stop. So I did not get numbers for you that day. I had one day where I was about five minutes in and I hit the emergency stop. So it took a little bit longer for me to do the 5K because I had started the 5K off running, literally running the 5K and messed up horribly and then there's one day where I literally walked most of it because I was like tired I had eaten something that just wasn't settling with me and didn't do me any justice on the um, running and then tonight's 5k did it again. I hit that emergency stop, which, why would you put it right in the middle where people are running, they got their hands moving, either that or I don't know how to run. But I hit it at 25 minutes, I was two miles in, and I don't have images of what my time was because I had gotten to the gym late and they were going to be closing and I had other workouts to do and some other things that I wanted to do in amongst um, my 5k so instead of starting over I just rolled with it and tonight's was about 39 minutes and 29 seconds I'll throw up what the math was for that um, but just a all-around <laughs> experience <laughs> um, I don't know that I had any results from it. Um, I will throw up the results at the end of the video because uh, I'm going to wait until in the morning to take the after photos just so that everything has its time to settle down and all that fun stuff. But I, the only reason that I had to do the video that way is because I didn't start the challenge soon enough. The gym was closed the week before I started this entire challenge and didn't open until last Sunday. So I couldn't start the challenge the day that I wanted to, which would have been last Saturday. But that happens. And everything went okay. Um, the runs themselves were slightly challenging, but I did it. And I think the benefits of that, I'm, I really didn't see any benefits from it. Um, my stamina is not better. I didn't get faster. My legs to me didn't get stronger. It was just 40 minutes of blah. Um, 40 minutes of doing something that, in my opinion, didn't benefit me. So, that's what we get with that. 
but here are the results. So as you can see, there's not much difference between November 4th and November 13th. I use November 4th because I didn't have any from day one. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you think water is fantastic, also give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see any other type of challenge, please let me know down in the comments below. And hit that subscribe button if you want to go on the journey with me to finish losing weight. Thanks. Bye.